What's up, y'all? Welcome to episode two of Ask a Rap Coach Anything, the one show where you can ask a real live rap coach, and yes, we do exist, a question about rap, hip hop, your career, what color socks you should wear today, anything. And if you're lucky enough, maybe you'll be featured on here. So ask away. Uh, we take two questions and one comment. So with that being said, anyone, this is episode two. So if you're just new to this, just hashtag ask a rap coach anything. That's one way. Comment, ask a question here in the box and, you know, we'll siphon through who we want to answer and, uh, you know, we'll get rocking. So hopefully ask good questions and I definitely want to answer them because it's exciting. So let's get into this one. Sergio Silva Jr. from YouTube asks, do you have any tips for a rapper who uses multi-syllable flow? I have the correct lyrics and my ideal flow, but since I rap fast, I can't help but take heavy breaths. I'll post lyrics as an example. Well, first, Sergio, uh, posting lyrics, uh, just lyrics, I don't know what the flow is. Uh, this is a common problem I find with rappers that they're just like, well, can you read these lyrics and tell me if they're good? Main part of rap in you know rap music, but music in general is being able to hear it music. So um, I usually just anybody who hits me up, like read these lyrics and tell me if they're good. I'm like, dog, like I need to hear the flow, the delivery. Can't rock with it. Um, as far as multi-syllable and breath control, um, the way that I do this is that I write the breaths that I want to take in the rhyme. So what I mean by that is I'm always taking into consideration my unique breath control. Now this can just take time because you have to practice it, knowing how long usually your lines are. But I don't remember where I heard this, but way back when, it might have been Diddy or somebody like that, or maybe even Biggie's. I think it's like a bad boy person, but basically the idea is pre-write where you're going to take a breath when you're writing your rhymes. This is a big secret from the big homie Drew, and then you won't have to worry so much. But if you're writing and not considering, even as you're writing your rhymes, where you're going to take a breath, it's going to be awful hard and you're going to spend a lot of time like having to rewrite so that you can actually spit it or you have to punch in and stuff like that. So to answer your question, the way I do that is I pre-write, as I'm writing, I pre-write where the breaths are gonna go. On to question number two. Uh, Devil Scum from YouTube. Wow, you must be a Man United fan because that's what that's what we call the uh, Man United fan. I'm a Manchester City supporter for anybody who's uh, in the UK. Shout out to my UK fans. Devil Scum from YouTube says, I usually freestyle over instrumentals from songs I dig, but whenever I start recording myself, I don't have any friends who specialize in making beats and I don't want to take a beat from somebody. How would I go about this? Well, Devil Scum, um, with, first of all, that, that's the best rap name I've ever heard, so uh, good for you. Um, shouldn't have a problem finding producers with a name like that. <laughs> um, well, as far as instru instrumentals, Devil Scum, man, you know, there are beats everywhere. And these days, a lot of producers, in order to build their buzz, what they do is they post free beats or beats that you can use for promotional materials like your freestyle on their uh, on their channels. So, you know, just look up, um, you know, different producers, look up uh, whatever your favorite rapper is, what kind of beat you want. So if you like Drake type beats or Kendrick type beats, just look up Kendrick beat, spend an hour or two looking up and look for the free ones and then download them. Um, you know, another thing that I would do is, um, you know, uh, reach out to people on SoundCloud. Look for hashtags, new producers. I mean, you're going to have to do a little bit of work, devil scum. Uh, I love talking to somebody this way. Uh, you're going to have to do a little bit of work, but you can find producers. And uh, if you reach out to them and, and your skills are there, they'll work with you. You know what I'm saying? So as a general point, I, it's, it's pretty easy these days to find these free beats that they'll let you use, you know, don't sell the song. Yeah, that's the don't that's the one problem. Like don't take the beat and then try to sell it. That's totally illegal. But if there's a free beat and they'll post it in the title usually or for promotional use, stuff like that, demo beat, whatever, you can use it, man. It's all good and the, a lot of producers appreciate it. And if you're dope with it, they'll 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 love it. So uh and today's comment comes from Kevin DeBrun on YouTube. Kobe Bryant, little brother. That's the whole comment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get this a lot, man. Um, you know, I get the Luda and the Kobe. I think that's 
hey man, like my response always is, I'd rather look like them than a broke celebrity. So <laughs> with that being said, Kobe, Luda, keep comparing me to cats that are successful at what they do, good at what they do, and it's all good. So that concludes today's episode of Ask Rap Coach Anything. Hopefully this helped. Comment, ask questions, do all that good stuff. I'm Jamarcy, and I'm out. Peace.